So we got set the task of getting this robot here to go around the track. Um, we had to specify different sensors and things. So with our buggy, we used an ultrasonic sensor at the front, which is the eyes of the vehicle, really, and then a tilt sensor. So the ultrasonic sensor picked up all the posts and made sure we didn't crash into them. And then the tilt sensor here made sure that when we got up to the top of the slope, the buggy stopped. Well, that was the plan anyway. I've learned about electronics really because I didn't really know a huge amount before. Um, it was all a bit of a mystery, but um, yeah, so learned a lot about that, a lot about programming and how all that works. So yeah, very interesting. Very good working in a team really because we, um, yeah, all contributed different things. So one of us was quite good at programming, so we did that. One knew a bit more about sensors, so he was in charge of that. One was very good with sort of assembling everything. So yeah, it was very good. We use both ultrasonic sensors and a tilt sensor on the pan and tilt mechanism to keep the ultrasonics level and look at the various posts around the course. It seemed to do it quite well. Um, it, it used quite a lot of stop start, uh, which Dave Clare didn't like, but um, did get around quite consistently uh, all in all three runs. We've learnt um, about mechatronic systems and how they can be used on not just autonomous vehicles, but also tracks of the future. Uh, the duck, duck was a bit of a mascot we found. Um, we did have uh, LEDs in its head, but it seemed to draw too much current, so it upset our system. <laughs> After this year, I've, got a, I've been on placement with JCB, um, so I've got another year at Harper after this, uh, and I'm looking forward to starting work with him after I finish. Yay.